Hey everyone, today's tip is a little different. I'm, I'm in the parking lot of the post office and I was thinking about this on the way here that I don't see people talking about this too often, but if you're gonna sell on Etsy and if you're a beginning Etsy seller, you need to understand that you need to ship your packages on time and you need to ship them as fast as you can. And a lot of people will wait and ship things once a week. Don't do that if you can help it. Even if you have to arrange for a pickup to get the postal service to come to your house to pick it up, and they will do that in the US, you can arrange for that. But get things out as fast as you can because customers like it, Etsy likes it, and it gets things off your plate so you don't have to worry about it. Definitely make friends with your postal workers. Okay, I come to the post office myself in person because number one, I wanna make sure that everything is entered into the system correctly and scanned in. I also want to be able to, in case something does not get entered into the system, because that does happen, they'll scan it and then it still doesn't get into the system. I want to be able to tell the customer, I know that they have it because I took it there myself. I don't want to have to say, oh, I think the postal worker picked it up. I think I, I think that they have it and nobody stole it off my porch where I left the packages. You know, I want to make sure that the packages get here and they're in transit. And I can tell people that if I personally took it to the post office. My customers also like things fast, so I make sure that I ship things every single day. But the main reason that you want to go to the post office on a regular basis and actually talk to the people that work there is that they will get to know you. And if you're nice, they will get to like you. And then if you ever do have a problem, it's going to be a heck of a lot easier to get some help. And I have gone so far and, you know, this is they, they deal with a lot. You guys, the postal think of how many people the postal workers have to deal with on a daily basis who are just insane. OK. So I will come in and if they look like they're a little frazzled, they're having a they're having a time like sometimes they just have had people all like yelling at them all morning. I will say, would you like me to go get you a coffee or would you like me to go get you some donuts? They usually say yes. And we've got like a Dunkin Donuts right across the street so I can just swing over there and pick up some stuff and bring it back. This is a minor thing. I, I consider this insurance. OK, I consider this postal insurance because I know that if I ever have a problem, I'm going to be able to come in here and they know me and they like me because we've had conversations and they're going to be more likely to be able to help me. And I'm not going to argue, you know, like if I have a problem and they come in, I come in and they explain it to me. I'm not the kind of person that's like, well, you need to escalate this to 12 people, you know. I just will take their explanation and give it to the customer or whatever, but I know that they're going to help me more than someone who comes in and is nasty to them every day. So there's more to going to the post office than just dropping your packages off. And I don't think that people understand that so much, but it's really a good habit to get into just to build up that goodwill with the people that work there. So keep that in mind. Watch this video next, and I will talk to you later.